Now, Sam, thank you for joining us. Now, interestingly, with Dean Spanley, it's a film about a priest channeling his former life as a dog, not your run-of-the-mill kind of role. How did you um, come by it, and what appealed to you, you know, sort of about the role? Yeah, it's unlikely material, isn't it? And, <laughs> and the more you speak of it, the more unlikely it sounds. And I, I think, in a way, that's what what what, it, what the attraction was. I'd never really read anything like this. I'd never seen anything like this, and I knew I'd never acted in anything like this before. So um, uh, I'm all for original material, I'm all for a departure from whatever, whatever the last thing was. And uh, at the same time I was, you know, I was very nervous and anxious as to whether it was <laughs> achievable, you know, it was, yeah. uh, uh, there's no precedence for this, certainly not in my career. When you when you approach a role, whether you know, sort of whether it be this or whether it be your part you had in Jurassic Park, how do you approach it? Do you try and inhabit that character's you know sort of world, if you like, or do you sort of just approach it as lines to learn and, and learn the lines and take it from there? I certainly hope it's not the latter. That would be uh, <laughs> that would be very perfunctory. No, I try to um, uh, construct the character as much as I possibly can in, inside my head and give them a previous history and, and all that. In this case, it's all pretty. <laughs> peculiar. So uh, it took quite a bit of constructing and then I try and live and breathe that character for as long as they need me to do that. I'm not a method actor, I don't go around being that that person <laughs> for the... I think Dan Day-Lewis does that and it works for him, it wouldn't work for me. I'd like to sort of, um, you know, tell jokes and gossip in between shots yeah. and... and um, and uh, have fun with the boys, you know, or the girls as it happens. But it, anyway, it was boys on this one. No, I, I, uh, I try and inhabit that world if I can. I you know, sort of believed you as a, as, a, you know, as, as a character on screen that you had been this dog because there was just something in, in the way you did it which could have gone into caricature but it didn't. How there was, was a couple it? of scenes where I was scratching myself but they <laughs> hit the cutting, cutting room floor. And so they should, because I think that would have kind of... Un, you know. That would have lurched into caricature. You're absolutely right. And that was, that was what made me nervous before we started this. Could I make it believable? Could I um, keep the parameters of... The, keep within the parameters of the real Edwardian bloke this curious inner life, this curious and bizarre former life, and make it all part of a believable persona um, that you wanted to spend some time with. Now you were talking before about you know sort of you know sitting around chatting with the boys, and one of those boys on this film was Peter O'Toole, who's a bit of a, a hero of yours as well. Was it an honour, and, and, and how was it working with you know sort of someone like Peter O'Toole? I, w I would have liked to have said to Peter because you never do. This is a fantastic honour for me, Peter. I, I cannot think of another actor that I admire more. Um, so much of your work has meant an incredible amount to me and I've learnt so much from watching you on the screen and I am learning so much from you now as you sit here with me in this room. But of course you don't, you just say, um, <laughs> so um, how about the rugby in the weekend, Peter? And he says, yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. You've worked with Brian Brand before and Jeremy Northam as well, so was it sort of, was a, a bit of a, an old school reunion there? As yeah, well? we had a bit of a club thing going there for a while. And, um, and I think we all, all of us, and Judy Parfit, uh, very much appreciated each other's craft and there was a lot of healthy mutual respect. <laughs> uh, you don't often, you don't always find that. So what's, what's next on the agenda for you? Are you off to a sort of um, another glamorous location for a film shoe or are you back to the vineyard? <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm going to um, Toronto to start a film next week, um, which I'm not allowed to speak about yet. Right. Okay. I don't know if Toronto is glamorous or not. Depends <laughs> what time of the year you're there. Well, Sam Neill, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you, and um, <laughs> good luck in Toronto and mm. with the Unspoken Project. And um, we'll look forward yeah. to seeing that in, in Thank you next very year, much. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Neill, and I like you to get out of the house and go and watch Dean Spanley to our Fraser's film with me, the wonderful Peter O'Toole, the magnificent Brian Brown, Judy Parfit, Jeremy Northam, marvellous actor. And uh, it's showing now. You need to go and see it. Don't miss out.
Fantastic. <laughs>